Hi and welcome back. In this video I want to talk a little bit about creating thumbnails for an image gallery and the different methods you can use to accomplish that. Now the first way that people create thumbnails is to manually open up the original image in whatever image editing software that you use and manually resize and then export the results. You could also, using this method, crop the image down if you don't want some extraneous information um, in your thumbnail. Now using this method, it's going to give you the most control, it's going to give you the highest quality thumbnail, and it's going to give you the lowest possible file size. So this is sort of the best of all possible um, outcomes for your thumbnail. Unfortunately, opening up every one of your images and manually resizing and exporting them is going to take a long time. So most people don't want to take the time that it's going to um, entail to use this method. If you just have four or five images, this might be an option for you. But if you're trying to process one, two, um, three hundred images, um, this is going to take a long time. The second method that some people employ is to use the HTML or CSS properties on your page to resize the original image into a thumbnail. Now this is going to be the quickest method, but it's also going to leave you with the lowest quality thumbnail. And you may find if you use this method, you don't like the way your thumbnails are looking at all for your um, images. Now the third method is sort of a compromise between the two. It's to use fireworks to batch process the thumbnails for your image gallery. And what this is going to do is it's going to give you the speed that you're maybe looking for to finish your project, but it's also going to give you reasonable quality thumbnails. So that's the method that I want to take a look at um, right now using fireworks to batch process your thumbnails. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And I've actually put some uh, images into a folder and if I double click on the folder you can see it right here they're just four images of Los Angeles here that I've photographed and we're going to again use fireworks to batch process these images to create thumbnails for them and we're actually going to do three different things in this process the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to scale the images down the second thing we're going to do is we're going to specify a new name for the exported thumbnail. And then finally, we're going to export the actual thumbnail for use. And we're going to place it in the same folder. So I'm going to go ahead and close that window. We're back here in Adobe Fireworks. I'm now going to begin the process by going to the File menu and selecting Batch Process. When you do that, you're going to get this dialog box appear. Now you're going to have to navigate to wherever you've placed your images in. But once you find your images, you'll be able to select them and click Add to add them to the list of images that are going to be processed. Whichever image names are down here in this large box, those are going to be the images that Fireworks is going to work with. You also have a very convenient Add All button here. I'm going to go ahead and click that, and you're going to see it added all four of my images to this box. I'm now going to go ahead and there's a remove button down here if you accidentally add something. I'm going to go ahead and click next to go to the next step. Now in this step we're going to choose what we want to do to those images. And the order here is important because Fireworks is going to process these commands in the order that you give them. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to scale the images down. And I want to create thumbnails that are going to be 72 pixels by 72 pixels. Now if you have um, a collection of images that are mostly landscape or that are all landscape, you may want to make your thumbnails also landscape. And the same thing goes that if you've got a lot of or all portrait orientation images, you may want to scale your images down to that. But I'm going to go ahead and click double click on scale to add that to the commands that I'm going to execute right here. Then I'm going to come down to scale here and I'm going to say scale to size and the default is going to show up here as 72 by 72. So that's the first thing that I want to do. The second thing that I want to go ahead and do is I want to rename the file 
because I want it to be obvious that this is a thumbnail, not an original image. So I double clicked on rename, it added it over here to the column in the right, and now I'm going to go ahead and have some options down here to fill in. And I don't want to replace the name or replace the blanks. What I want to do is add a prefix or a suffix. And I'm going to uncheck prefix. I don't want that. But I want my images to end in dash T-H-U-M-B, dash thumb. And the final thing that I want to go ahead and do is I want to go ahead and export these images. So I'm going to go ahead now and double click on export. So you'll see the three different things that we're doing here. And I need to choose the file type for my export. Now since these are uh, photographs, they've got a lot of complex color in them and they also have um, a lot of uh, sort of gradient shading. So we don't want to use GIF as our format for these. I'm going to go ahead and click that drop down and I'm going to go ahead and select JPEG smaller file. So that's the format that I want to export in. And you can set the properties for your export um, by clicking on the edit button right here. We're going to leave that alone and I'm going to go ahead and click next. And it's going to ask you me where do I want to put my thumbnails. And I want to put them in the same location as the original file. You could choose custom location here as well and choose to put your image your thumbnails anywhere at all. So I've selected same location and now I'm going to go ahead and click batch. And the window is going to disappear and you'll see that process bar come. And eventually you're going to see it says batch processing finished normally. And four of four images have been processed. I'll click OK to close that out. And now I'm going to go ahead and open up that folder again. And you're going to see there are my thumbnail images. And when I look at them you can see they're now square as opposed to the rectangular shape they were before. And I can see by simply clicking on it that the dimensions are 72 by 72. Fireworks placed the original images in a folder called Original Files. And I don't want that in a separate folder for my thumbnail, so I'm just going to double click on it, select my images, and do Edit Cut. I'm going to go back up, and then I'm going to paste those in there. So now I've got my images with their thumbnail. And now I'm just going to delete that folder. So there's a really quick way to process thumbnails that are a reasonable quality. You can see the difference in quality here between the original and the thumbnail, but still not take you a lot of time in creating them. Hope this helps.